Hi kids, Charlene here. Welcome to the first SRC 2021 video. For our first week, we're gonna go out of this world. And what I mean by that is we're gonna go to space. But before we do that, we must make our own satellite. Satellites are these amazing objects that let us predict the weather, gives us television signals, and most importantly, it let us explore distant stars and galaxies. Isn't that amazing? So now, let's go and make our own satellite. Hi! Welcome to my rocket ship! <laughs> yeah, it has gravity in here. Um, it's a special um, rocket science thingy, that's why I'm not floating around. <laughs> Anyways, here's what you need to have for your own satellite. Astronaut Mackenzie pre-painted a juice box for us and that's what we're going to use for the satellite. The first thing that I'm going to put on my satellite is the solar panel, which is its energy source. So what I'm going to do here is poke a hole using a pin, then insert a toothpick to hold the panel. For the panels, I'm using a paper with glitters and some cellophane. Um, you could use any kind of materials. Um, you could use just plain paper and just decide it as a solar panel. So I'm gonna cut that into shape. Now I'm gonna put my solar panel into place using a tape. Just a reminder that when you are using um, sharp objects like box cutters or scissors, always ask for an adult's help. So I'm securing my solar panel into place using a scotch tape. But if this doesn't work for your satellite, you could always use a glue gun and a glue stick. Now that I'm done doing the solar panel, I'm going to do the signal receiver. In this case, I'm going to use an aluminum foil and wrap up my circular object to give it a metallic look. You could definitely use any type of caps or circular objects, or you can even use a different shape for your signal receiver. And for the metal receiver or the antenna, I'm going to use um, a paper clip. I'm molding around the um, paper clip just to um, resemble what an antenna looks like. And here comes my favorite part, putting the thumbtacks in my satellite. These thumbtacks will act as little gizmos around my spacecraft. You could definitely use buttons if you want or anything that you could find at home that fits the look of your satellite. Be creative! I want my satellite to look glittery and sparkly so i'm gonna use a tape with glitters and stars with it but unfortunately things doesn't go the way we want it sometimes and it doesn't stick quite nicely so with that i'm still gonna continue on putting it but then i'm gonna secure it with tape later Sometimes things can get a little bit frustrating, especially when a tape doesn't want to stick to your satellite. But anyhow, let's move on. I'm using a pipe cleaner, I mean a pretty metallic pipe cleaner, to put my signal receiver. You could definitely poke a hole through your satellite, but I prefer doing this just to give it a little bit more glimmer. If you can't do this by yourself, you can always ask an adult to help you. As you can see, astronaut Charlene couldn't get enough of the tape that doesn't stick. Anyway, she's using that for the antenna to make it a little bit more pretty and glittery. And she's using, again, another tape to secure it. Now, using a marker, I'm going to put some 
panels and squares around my cellophane so then it just looks like the squares that you see in other solar panels and there you have it you have now your own satellite now you're ready to make your own satellite and send it to space. Yay!